Hello peeps, it's CJ Collector 101 here, and so today, as you can see here, I I am going to be doing a review on the Monster High Dance Class 5 pack. This is a Target exclusive, so Target exclusive, only found at Target, and um, it does not include Dance Class Halloween. She is sold separately. And yeah. Anyway, so Operetta, L Rebecca, and Laguna are sold separately in single packs, but Rochelle and Gil are exclusive to this five pack. I, I believe it costs about like what forty four fifty nine, forty four dollars and something cents. Anyways, so I'm going to begin by reviewing Operetta. So she is so cute. Anyways, so she has her red hair. It's kind of curly, in my opinion. It's curly, but it's more of a wave than a curl, but still, it's curly. And then she's got a purple bow tying it all back. Anyways, and so then she's also got her heart mask, which is actually held on as an earring. It's an earring, and it's actually held on by elastic, too. Um, and then she's got all of her tattoos all her tattoos and stuff, which I don't know if you can see. Can you see her tattoos? Anyways. But yeah, and there's more tattoos and stuff on her arm. Anyways. But yeah, she's got her beautiful red lipstick and makeup. There you go, in case you wanted to know. Anyways. So here's her little leotard. I know from reading the single pack boxes that her dances swing. So, I don't really know what swing is. I'm sorry, I'm not a dancer. I used to be, but not anymore. Anyway, so it's got a red ribbon tying it all up in the back. It's dice, which is really cute. Anyways, and so then she's got this spider web skirt. Uh, and the skirts are actually movable, so you can, like, move them up and down and take them off, which I did not know. I was, like, messing around one day, and I was like, oh my gosh, they move. Anyways, and so then, here are her shoes, which I love, because they're piano keys! Look at that! I love them! Anyways, and they've also got bows. I believe they got bows. Do they? Do they? Can you see them? I don't know. Anyways, Operetta, I really like Operetta. She's my first Operetta doll. Great. I love her. <laughs> Especially, my favorite part about her is probably her hair. Anyways, next I will move on to Rebecca. Anyway, so here's Rebecca's theme, and I know that her dance is tap. So, anyways, so she does like da 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 da. Anyways, so here's her hair. It's got like what? It's to a side pony, and this can make her a little bit top heavy. So, like, if you're gonna sit her down on a shelf, uh, just beware to put her at the end of the shelf because if she sit her on a shelf, she's gonna like fall over. Which is kind of sad. Or maybe it's just because my Rebecca doll actually has a weak joint. This right here. I think it was like, it's got some white marks on it. It may be from like the factory or something. Anyway, so it's in this like giant side poofy pony. <sighs> a poofy pony. Anyways, and then it's like, and then you've got just the dark blue streak. And it just goes all the way around. Anyways, and then here is the, um, her hat. It's adorable! Look at it, it's on a gear headband, which is so cute. Here's her face, you can see there. If you're watching this on an iPad or something full screen, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, and so she's got a nice purplish, plummy shade of lipstick. Anyways, so then she has her um, tap outfit. Uh, this is a movable skirt as well. Uh, they're all movable skirts, so you can, like, move them up and down or take them off. It's actually held on with, like, one of those plastic ties. Anyways, so it's blue with, like, machinery. And then, um, oh, this whole arm is, like, weak. Like, Anyways, but yeah, and then she's got her purple skirt, beautiful little bow. Um, she looks... Her skin is textured to look like uh, metal plates. She has her little watch. So adorable. Anyways. 
And yeah, my Rebecca's arm is like really loose. Like it's looser than it should be. I think it's a factory error. It's not a factory defect, just an error. Anyway, so then we have her legs, and she's also got gears on the back. I don't know, because I don't have original Rebecca if she has, but yeah, really cool. And then here are her boots. They have purple bows on them, and the heels are gears. So, if you're going to be cosplaying as Rebecca Steam, I don't recommend doing the heels, because, ooh, walking on gears. Oh, what fun. Anyways, yeah, they're... Ridge in the back. She is really cute. I love her. Especially, my favorite part about her would have to be either her hairstyle or her, her headband. As I take a break to mention this, um, these dolls do not come with stands. So if you buy this, just beware that you're going to be getting five Monster High dolls without stands. And, yeah. Anyway, so here's Laguna. She is probably my favorite. Um, I really love what they did with her hair. It's like Okay, I'm going to turn off this for a second. Anyways, it's basically a bright yellow, and then it's showing up lighter on a screen. It's basically a blonde yellow and then turquoise highlights, which I think is really pretty. Anyways, and it's all just let loose, wavy, and, um, wavy. and her dance is ballet, so she does ballet. I love her hazel eyes, so pretty. And then her lips. Then she's got this, like, it looks like a swimsuit. It's leotard. And, of course, with the movable skirt. So you can, like, move it up, move it down, take it off if you want. Anyways, which is really nice. The skirt, um, the mesh, it is basically just, I think it may supposed to be, like, maybe it's supposed to be, like, coral, but I think it's supposed to look like water. Like, doesn't that look like water? Or something? Anyways, on this hand, she has a little bracelet. I think it's seahorses. It's supposed to be, like, seahorses, I guess. Or maybe it's shell. She's got her classic, um, fins and webbed fingers. Anyways, and so then she's got her, uh, little ballet heels, which these aren't actually... They're not really textured on the back. Kind of sad. Anyways. And then, um, but yeah. <laughs> She is really cute. I love how this resembles, like, coral or something. Crawling up her leg. Anyways, I love Laguna. She's so pretty. And here is Rochelle Goyle. She's exclusive, as well as Gil, to this pack. So, anyways, her hair is a bun, and this bun is gelled. So, it is gelled, rock solid. It is not going anywhere. <laughs> anyways, and she's got her blue streaks, which go up into the bun. And then she's got her little gargoyle ears and her black headpiece, which is right here. Then she's got her bangs, which are thankfully ungelled. And then she's got these pieces, which are actually a little bit gelled. These pieces are gelled, but of course this gel is coming out. Anyways, so she's got blue makeup. Okay. Anyways, and then a peachy plum lipstick. She's got her wings, which are removable. And her dress is a um, print. I can't... What is that? Is that like... I don't know what it's called, but it's beautiful. Anyways, and then got her clawed hands, of course. Her skirt is just a um, black and white stripes with a beautiful black bow. Anyways... And then we move on to her shoes. I do not know what her dance is. If you know, comment down below. But yeah, here are her shoes. They're sort of like wooden platforms, making th me think she's taking, like, what, clogging or something? I don't know. Anyways, they've got little bows. Do do do. Anyways, I love Rochelle. She's so beautiful. Anyways. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. You can see why I really wish these dolls came with stands, because, yeah, I've never seen a four-pack of dolls that came with stands. Maybe the Ghoul's Night Out four-pack, but even then. Man, we've had two packs, three packs, four packs, and five packs. What's next, the six-pack? Actually, they have a six-pack, don't they? I do not know. Anyway, so here is the final doll, Gil Gillington Weber. <laughs> I love how it says Gil Gillington Weber. 
Anyways, so here's his bubble, same as any bubble I'm assuming. Oh my gosh. Comes off. I'm not going to bother putting it back together. Anyway, so his hair is, his head is full of scales. Um, and then his hair is like a mold, moldy, not moldy, like molded plastic. It's plastic, it's a little bit movable, but not really. Anyway, so we've got his eyebrows. And, yeah, pale skin. He's got his gills on the side, what he was named for. And then, of course, scales on his tummy. And we cannot forget, of course, scales on the back. All the way down the back. Or maybe, it's, is that scales or a fin? Is it scales or a fin? I don't know. Leave a comment below. Then he's got his fins and his webbed fingers. Scales on his chest, of course. With a really awesome outfit. He looks, I don't know what his dance is. What would his dance be? Is he taking hip-hop like how lean is? I don't know. Anyways, here's his shorts. Really simple. Um, They actually have a little bit of white in them. Let me just yeah. So they go from white to blue, and then it's just a drawstring. And then they're just gray, go down to his knees. Yeah, normal shorts. Anyways. But he's my first boy doll, so it doesn't really matter that he's wearing shorts. So he's got some sneakers on. They are a bit over-proportioned. Like, they look big. They look sort of like clown shoes. And they're basically rubber. They're not plastic or anything. They're rubber. And he does have the articulated ankles. You can just see that there. And then fins on the back of his legs. But yeah, I don't really know what dances he and Rochelle are taking. You can make guesses in the comments below. Oh, we gotta put on his bubble so he doesn't suffocate. Anyways, but yeah, the dance class five pack is very good, especially if you're like me. I would, I did want one of the, da I did want some of the dance class dolls. So this is the perfect if you like want to get all the dance class dolls and you're like, what do I do? How do I get them all? Yeah. And I also recommend getting this before you try and go and buy the single packs because this includes Gil and Rochelle. And if you get, like, even if you get just, like, Laguna, um, if you get Dance Class Laguna and then you have to go and buy this, it would be sort of, like, a waste of money. But, yeah, overall I recommend it. It is about $50, so it's a bit expensive, but it is good. It's good for the price you get. Anyways, yeah, overall I am really loving this. I just kind of wish they came with stands, because now this gives me five dolls without stands. Anyways, oh, I also forgot to show you all of their tote bags. All of the dance class bags open, which I am really happy with that. So all of the dance, all of the dance class bags open. Let me just try and find them all. They're sort of all scattered about. But yeah, I don't feel that the bags are too important. Anyways, so let me just, I cannot find. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, I cannot find Laguna, I cannot find Rebecca or Opera this bag, but they they look cool, trust me. Anyway, so here's Laguna's bag. As I said, they all open. Uh, it looks like a canister, like an air tank. It looks like an air tank that a scuba diver would use. Yeah, I like that feature. Going with a different, it's like more than fish, it's just scuba diving. Anyway, okay. Sorry about my shadow. Then we've got, this is Gil's duffel bag. It's really big. Like, you could hold an entire outfit in here. And that is for Gil. And then here's Rochelle's bag. It's pink. Beautiful design. It could not hold much. It might be able to hold, like, a ring or a necklace or something, but it couldn't hold much. Anyways, I really wish I could find Operetta and Rebecca's bags to show you guys. But, oh. Oh. There, I found their bags. Let me just get them. You can hear me stepping around in the room. How unprofessional. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anyway. So, here is Operetta's bag. I'll show you real quickly. Operetta's bag. They open. And then here's Rebecca's bag. But yeah, that is all. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, like, and subscribe. Bye.